everyone, welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave, where a middle-aged man talks about comic books, video games, and most things a small adolescent boy would enjoy doing. So here I am, a small adolescent boy trapped in a middle-aged body with a giant shiny forehead. So if you like those kind of things, feel free to subscribe and share, comment, like. I would definitely appreciate it. I'm on the road to 300, so I'd like to hit it before the end of the year. That'd be pretty sweet. But you're not here to learn about me. You're here to learn about Robocop Rogue City and why it took me so long to get this review out. Let's take a look. Beautiful game. Just That's all I have to say. This is a this was a day one pickup for me, and uh, I don't regret it at all. Uh, it's not a $69 game. I think it's a $59 game, and with all the Prime deals and stuff, you might be able to pick it up for $49, but it is worth the price of admission. I think I've got about six hours into it, and I don't think I'm even close to being done yet. Um, you obviously play as Peter Weller's RoboCop, Alex Murphy, continuing his... I want to say crime spree, but not. How about crime ridding spree in Detroit, which is just a fucking cesspool, so just think of California. And um, he's just killing drug dealers that um, are distributing nuke throughout the city, which really fucks you up. It's kind of like, oh, fentanyl. That's interesting, right? But yes, uh, at least in this world, they have someone taking care of it. But uh, the game looks great. Peter Weller looks great. Robocop looks great. The shooting handles wonderfully. The, the side characters that were in the original movies were scanned into the game as well, and they look great. Their voice acting is great. Some of the NPCs are a little bit regurgitati. They look the same. But, I mean, you can only have do so much with so much money. Uh, God, my hair looks amazing today. And um, I love this game. It is a great, I don't want to say send-off, but a great, uh, what's the word? I don't know. Homage? But it's not even homage. It's a wonderful game. It, it really took what RoboCop 1987 had and built upon it in the game without putting any really stupid bullshit in it that would make you not want to play it. You're not preached to. You're not like, oh, RoboCop, you can't shoot them. Read them their Miranda rights. No, you shoot them. They're shooting at you. You shoot them, and uh, they get recycled. That's fine with me. But what I forgot is Taeon, who created this game, published by Nacon, also created a game that I really enjoyed about four to five years ago, and that was Terminator Resistance. You get to the chopper and buy this game, and buy this game as well. 80s are back, baby, and I love it. Uh, I was very young in the 80s, but I remember watching RoboCop. I remember watching the Terminator movies, and this game also is a very great recreation of James Cameron's post-apocalyptic world. It, it doesn't take place in the now. You are in the war against the Terminators, but you are on the East Coast. Or, no, I'm sorry, the West Coast. You're in, you're in California, so... I'm sure that they just took scans of current California for this game. And we're like, hey, this is easy, man. Done. But uh, I can't gush about this game enough. This is a great game. Uh, I don't remember if it's up for any awards. I think it is. I think it's up for action game, and I'm pretty sure I voted for it. But I don't remember. It was either this or Resident Evil 4. But I don't know. It was late at night because I don't sleep. But uh, both these games, you'll get double the fun. And if you're my age, you will just think about your youth and miss it and love it and get to play it. So like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon in another video.